Hey Texas, this is Denise Bell coming to you from beautiful Galveston, Texas. I am here today visiting with Jordan Price at the Bryan Museum in Galveston and he's going to give us the info on these beautiful pieces. Tell me what we're looking at. Well Denise, we're looking at two very special artifacts in the collection. The artifact on the right, the crucifix, once belonged to Bud Adams, which most Texans would recognize as the, the late owner of the Houston Oilers, Tennessee Titans. Um, we have several items that did belong to Bud Adams, including this crucifix and uh, some large uh, Remington statues, sculptures on the front lawn. So, and what is this piece right here? Tell me about this one. It's just beautiful. This piece right here is made out of mother of pearl, tortoiseshell, and silver. And really, it was, it was a piece designed to impress. So imagine seeing this outside on a table in a field and the sun glinting off of it. I mean, this would be magnificent. How so old is it? It's from, well, it's from the 18th century. And the piece, this chest carried imperial land grants from Spain. So, so pieces of paper which indicated that California belonged to the Spanish Empire. When this piece was originally acquired, it was locked. So a locksmith was hired to open it up, and inside of, this, inside of the chest it was empty except for the key, which meant that somewhere on earth the second key to this chest exists because it was locked <laughs> with that key. Um, but the, it, this is just, it's a, it's a beautiful So there wasn't key. anything inside but a key? Sadly, there was nothing inside but a key, but the key was the correct key for the piece. Um, and then the item on the right, the crucifix, that crucifix was given to Emperor Maximilian I of Mexico by Pope Pius IX. And Emperor Maximilian was, was deceived by Napoleon III. Napoleon III invaded Mexico told Maximilian that the people of Mexico had elected him to be their king. So he came to Mexico during a time when Mexico was a little unstable, but he had this crucifix with him, and it's in the original box that the Pope presented him with. Um, if you look closely, so the, that crucifix is made out of ebony, ivory, and gold, and below, below Christ's feet there's that little gold seal, and that is and that was the imperial monogram for the emperor. Wow, it's absolutely beautiful. How long have these two pieces been here at the museum? Um, the chest has been here since our opening, which was four years ago, and the crucifix is a recent acquisition. So it went on display in February of this year and is now here on permanent display. And they're both just gorgeous, but I'm gonna be real curious about this ship. Quickly, tell me what this is. So this ship is a representation of both English and Spanish galleons that once, that once plied the earth. And the fun thing about this ship is it's entirely remote control, including the sails and the cannons. So the cannons can be fired by remote control. Wow, I bet the schools visiting your museum really enjoy the education y'all bring with this one. They do, they do, and we provide free admission for the teacher and the, and the bus driver too. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, there it is, Texas. A very big piece of our history here in Galveston. If you've got time this weekend, come check it out.